Hello everyone. This video will guide you through the process of making an electrical non-contact type frequency based digital tachometer. A tachometer is a device used to measure the rotational speed of an object. We usually specify the rotational speed in revolutions per minute, also known as RPM. Now that we know what we're doing, let's get right into it. Now let's go over the major components required. A 16 by 2 LCD, an Arduino Uno, a full-size breadboard, an IR sensor, a mini breadboard, and a 100k potentiometer. Even a 1 or 10k potentiometer will work just fine. Before proceeding any further, let's cut out a sector of a circle from a white sheet of paper and paste it on the fan hub to work as the interrupter. The basic principle of operation is that the black surface, in this case the fan surf, doesn't reflect any light, whereas the white surface reflects all the incident light. Therefore, the IR sensor will provide a positive output only when the white sector of the hub reaches its vicinity. We will measure the times the white sector has cut the emission in one second and use it to calculate the speed of the motor. Let's also use a small piece of white double-sided tape to work as the interrupter for this tire. Let's make the connections as shown in the wiring diagram. Please note that we must use only the digital pin 8 as it's the only pin that supports the input capture function of the inbuilt timer 1 on the Arduino Uno and Nano. Now let's run a test program to plot the wave generated by the IR sensor. The spikes that we see are the pulses generated by the sensor. To obtain the frequency of the wave, we simply calculate its time period by measuring the time between two consecutive rising or falling edges. And from the physics that we studied in 8th grade, we know that frequency is equal to the reciprocal of the time period. Let's also run a program that shows us the number of times the white sector passes through the sensor's detection range. Now that we have a brief idea about the working principle of the tachometer, let's run the final code on it and let's test it out. From the specifications printed on the fan, we can understand that it ideally spins at 1200 rpm with a tolerance of plus or minus 200 rpm when supplied with 12 volts DC. Let's see if our tachometer can provide accurate results. And voila, our tachometer does a pretty good job at measuring the speed of the fan. We can see that the RPM decreases when I reduce the input voltage from 12.6 to 8.4 volts. Now I'm providing the fan with 4.2 volts and we can see the RPM on the LCD. And by cross-checking with the speed of the cabinet cooling fans at different voltages, the tachometer seems to be providing pretty accurate measurements. This motor is rated 300 RPM at 12 volt DC and I'll let the whistle speak for themselves. To measure the speed of a propeller with two blades, we simply divide the initial RPM by 2 in the code. We do so because, for every rotation of the propeller, we have two interrupts, which are the two blade tips. And similarly, if we had to measure the speed of a tri-blade propeller, we would divide the initial RPM by 3. According to the KV rating of this BLDC motor, it ideally spins at 1000 RPM per volt. We can see that at 1 fourth throttle, the tachometer reads approximately 2600 RPM and at half throttle, we would expect a value of 6000 RPM while the motor runs at a fully charged 3S LiPo battery pack. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't.